Hello. Do I look like an alien now? Yes, probably. I dyed my hair and now I look strange, but whatever. So today's video is kind of a story of Maria being stupid for a few months while trying to learn how to problem solve, aka grinding leak code questions. And you'll see all the things that I tried doing for the past three months, the things that worked and didn't work, and maybe you can learn something from it. And also, if you don't understand the thumbnail of this video, then you need to go and watch The Sound of Music right now. I only watched it in grade 7, and I didn't understand that the song, How Do You Solve a Problem, like Maria, referred to Maria being a problem that they needed to solve, because I thought they were just talking about Maria being such a good problem solver. But obviously, that's why I suck at problem solving. With that, let's get started with today's video. So my goal for the month of July was to be able to solve leak code medium questions by myself and in around 30 minutes. So what I would do every day was for one hour, I would either solve one or two leak code questions or I went on this other website called Code Wars where I would be solving these code katas. And how they work on Code Wars is that they are separated into difficulty. So they call it Q. So the easiest ones are eight and seven, but I usually was doing level six. So then if you do the higher level, then it will increase your ranking. So yeah, as you can see, I was level seven at this point and yeah. I was doing these once a week with my friend also on Tuesdays, we were doing these at night. Okay, so basically the plan is that I'm going to be using this notebook where the Gurintama is, matching my shirt, and then I'm going to write down uh, notes every single day that I'm coding to keep track of which problems I'm solving and how long it took me to solve those problems so that in the future I can go back to these notes and then see how I've progressed as well as see which problems I was able to solve on my own and then go back and redo them after a month and then see if I'm actually better and able to solve them. Okay, it's around like 40-ish minutes later and the question I actually got was uh, number of islands and I was talking about this yesterday with one of my teammates and he was saying that it's such a fun question to do where it's basically like you have a 2D array and like you have it of booleans and then all the ones are islands and then, or like land or whatever, and then all the zeros are water. And then I cannot solve it because I forgot what DFS was like. And yeah, so I had to look online for some help, but I did like try to understand what's going on and try to step through the code. Hey there, today is day five and I'm wearing my idea shirt and <laughs> trying to think of some ideas of how to solve problems. Cause yeah, this past few days, um, it's like, I think my third day doing Code Wars, and I actually really enjoy it because Code Wars is pretty different from Leak Code. It kind of, it, it helps you learn more of, yeah, like how to problem solve instead of just like focusing on the data structures aspect. Also, something that I forgot to mention was that at work, we have this group called Deliberate Practice where some backend developers meet once every two weeks and we solve these things called code katas, just like how on Code Wars they have those because they're exercises to work on your problem solving skills. And there's this good website called codekata.com where you can get them from, or you can search them up online. And there are really interesting questions. Like one of the one of them that we did was like, okay, do fizz buzz, but you're not allowed to use any conditionals, like no if statements, no whatever. So there's a few different ways that you can solve that. Like one of them is polymorphism. And it's very interesting to do these types of questions. Also, I wanted to give an update about my problem solving questions and it's been really hard. It's around like the two weekish mark right now and uh, my goal is to maybe do this for a few months, but or, like maybe for this video, maybe one month, we'll see, or two months. I have no idea yet. I started off and I was like, oh yeah, I can do totally leak code mediums, but that was a stupid idea because it just made me feel so bad about myself because leak code mediums are hard. and. I know they're called medium, but they're hard actually, like to solve them and you need to have reviewed like your data structures and algorithms and stuff. But I didn't review my data structures, so I kind of forgot some stuff and I need to do more review of that. So I think I should have started off with easies and led my way up to medium instead of just starting at medium and feeling like shit because I couldn't solve them. But I also think it might be a good idea for me to take a course online. So I'll try doing that in a few weeks. And yeah, so, so like I've been taking notes inside of here of like each question that I'm doing. I started off with like number of islands and like minimum path sum and those took a while because they're all like media or yeah, they're all leak codes. And then I was doing just like some level six and seven um, Q 
or I don't know how to say it, on Code Wars. But yeah, I keep saying like, oh, I didn't fully understand some stuff or um, like it was just tricky to figure out. I don't know how long it's been since I've talked about trying to learn how to problem solve, but I probably haven't filmed myself doing it anyways. And I just wanted to maybe update you with what I've been trying to learn. Well, I was kind of getting depressed with myself trying to learn like the code questions because there wasn't a lot of structure in my learning. I was just like, oh yeah, I'll go into it and just do these problems. But then I, kept, I kind of felt frustrated because every time I try solving a problem, so like I just chose a random problem and then I wouldn't know the pattern. Like I wouldn't know what algorithm to use. And I found my friend gave me their code to a course, which is a really good course and I'll link it below. And it's called the Grokking, the coding interview patterns for coding questions. And it breaks things down and it chooses like, I think it's 16 different patterns or algorithms that you can find in these questions. So this is the website where I got the course from. It's called educative.io. And I'll also leave links to some other courses that people have recommended. So yeah, this is the course that I'm doing, Grokking the coding interview patterns for coding questions. And I like how it's broken out into introductions for each pattern. Then they give you some easy questions to solve, mediums, hards, and then you do some problem challenges. And I like how it's all commented out, like the code for their solutions, and they explain things really well. So it's understandable when you get something wrong or you need help, then you can see their solutions. So when I get a new question, I'll read through the problem and then I will try to write in a notebook how I think I will solve it. And then I'll actually get to coding it after like 10 minutes of doing that. And if I can't figure that out, then I'll look at the solution for some hints and try to use those. Or if I can't do that, then finally look at the solution. So in the past month or so, what I've been trying to actually do is go through those courses that I'm doing. So I actually have that course that I was doing, the Educative I.O. one, which I'm like 40% of the way done because I haven't been doing it for the past few weeks, which I should start continuing to like do it. And then I am also in this program, the Facebook above and beyond computer science and I'm doing that once a week so it's like this program that you can apply for and then every week you meet with your cohort or your group and you guys go through some workshop about a specific data structure and you try solving questions together and it's actually fun and I get to meet new people even though it's online it's still nice to meet new people and then the third thing I'm doing is I actually am taking my algorithms course right now and it's very intensive completely different from what I thought it was. You can watch my other video about my first week of school so you can see more of what I was learning back then at the beginning of school. And now it's actually getting into all the algorithms before it was all math kind of stuff. Okay, so I wanted to end this video off on the notes of what I have learned not to do and what I've learned to do when trying to learn how to problem solve. Well, first of all, I'd say that you should have a basic understanding of data structures before you go into algorithms and like doing a bunch of leak code questions because it's good to understand the theory behind things. And that's what I've been seeing through the course of my past few years in university. Because while I have been working at the same time as doing school, I see the benefits of doing school and learning the theory. Because especially with algorithms, you need to understand why things work that way, what, like all the big old notation, why it's like that, all the summations. And just the whole point is that you're not supposed to be code hacking as my professor says right now in my algorithms course. You're supposed to actually be thinking. And you have to think of all of the preconditions, postconditions, and the loop invariants and things like that before you actually code your algorithm. So you're supposed to be thinking. And just like in my Facebook ABCS, they always say, okay, you get the question, then you take like five or five to 10 minutes or something like that to actually try to think of how to solve that question, write out pseudocode or how you would do it, plan that out before you actually start writing the code. So that's a great thing that I've been learning because before I'll just be like, and try to think of what the question would, or like what the answer is but that was bad and I'm learning a lot and I know okay I'm not done but I just wanted to make this video to show you that okay even if, though I haven't mastered this thing I'm still trying and I'm still trying different things and I'm trying to learn something new so I learned don't jump into things into the deep end just like I tried jumping into leak code mediums that was stupid actually try to gradually go into this learn your data structures learn some algorithms take a course maybe online and then try to apply that theory do the questions and build yourself up learn the different patterns and take more courses online like i know so many people they take five algorithms courses because they don't feel like they have learned it enough yet 
and I don't think I'll ever learn it like to the greatest ability that I can, but it's, it's really interesting. It moves my brain. I really like it. So with that, I hope that you learn some algorithms, you learn something new, maybe a different strategy or a different course or something to take to learn this type of thing. And I wish you good luck with everything. So if you like this video, smash the thumbs up button and leave a comment about your favorite resources to learn this kind of stuff. And I'll see you next time. Bye.